Monkey D. Dragon's shocking past revealed. Now, Monkey D. Dragon is one of the most popular characters in One Piece. It's kind of funny because he rarely shows up. He's the father of the main character. We all know different animes. I'll give you an example, Naruto's father. Or I'll give you an example, Deku's father. They get a lot of attention. The main character's father is definitely a trope we've seen. Even Bleach, different series like that. Uh, even Dragon Ball Z, when we've rarely seen Goku's father, he's still a huge popular character. It just shows you that the main character's father is a character that you know will get a lot of attention. But Monkey D. Dragon is the most wanted man in the entire world. So his attention is rightfully deserved. He most likely has the highest bounty in One Piece. And not saying something because the highest bounty, the highest known bounty we know so far is Blackbeard at Yonko at 2 billion, 200 million and some change. Let's be honest, that's crazy. So, definitely want to say, Nico Robin said it best. This man is going directly against the world government. Well, we never asked what triggered him to go directly against the world government. His father is one of the greatest Marines. Being raised in that household with your father being a legendary Marine, what made you want to do the opposite of what he did? I'm not too sure. Is it because you learned the truth? Definitely want to say, I believe it's because something traumatic happened in his past. Either he both situations where he learned the truth or something traumatic happened, like Fisher Tiger. I definitely want to say, we're going to uncover it because... The things I said in this video have never been said about a lot of people. You're going to be shocked with the things I say. Reveals on different characters. This is probably one of my best videos since 2016, honestly. I'm, I'm excited to make this video. The lasagna is real. Now, let's be honest here. You probably think I'm going to do, do the same old generic Dragon Pass theory. Monkey D. Dragon was an admiral, and then he left the Marines, and then he went up against the Marines because he learned the truth or something like that. No, no, this is not going to be the generic Monkey D. Dragon theory of him being admiral. Now, now, yes, I do believe Monkey D. Dragon was a part of the Marines, but I do not think he was admiral. For Monkey D. Dragon to be an admiral and pretty much not be, uh, the Marines would be talking about how an ex-admiral was, of course, uh, the most wanted man. And just how they talk about how Kiji, a former admiral, is not under Blackbeard. You see the way they talk about him? They don't talk about Dragon in that same light. That means, personally, I do think he's a Marine, but I do not think he was an admiral. Just because once you get to the admiral, you pretty much are on the legendary status. You Once you become an admiral, become an admiral is like becoming a superstar in the NBA. That's my example, honestly. But I do feel like they were betrayed because he left them, because he probably was one of their protégés. The potential of Garp's son, Garp, all the feats he did chasing Roger, being the man before Roger, the lineage. Yo, Pirate King, as a lot of people calling him, but definitely want to say he's from the same generation personally to me, to, from Kizaru, Akainu, and Aokiji. And I feel like four of them were pretty much raised up in the Marines and were going at each, at each other as a competition kind of thing. Uh, I definitely won't be surprised if you find out that Dragon was the black sheep of the group and Garp wishes uh, low key that his son was like Aokiji because Aokiji is always following Garp and he's a great Marine. And even Sengoku wanted Aokiji to become the fleet admiral, but Dragon left the Marines. Maybe he wanted his son to be like Aokiji because the way he acts, the way he behaves i definitely want to say there could be a situation where we see a flashback of them being raised up these four marines are going to be super excited to see it honestly it's going to be crazy let's move on now i know what you guys are probably thinking why mention aokiji the reason why i mentioned aokiji is because when he saved smoker from doflamingo and punk hazard that's probably one of the most badass scenes right but the thing is we all know why he saved smoker smoker he is one of his best friends like let's be, let's be honest here you saw smoker and him talk pre time skip these guys are really really close and this scene reminds me of the way that Dragon saved Luffy from Smoker. Isn't that kind of how to say it's poetic? A situation like this, honestly. So I definitely want to say that I feel, I feel like each or Oda, the man who made One Piece, did this for a reason. The reason why these scenes are so similar, in my opinion, is because I believe that Akainu, that we see the hatred Akainu has for Dragon, Dragon's son, Dragon's son. Aokiji never ever said Dragon's son when talking about Luffy. He talks about Garp's grandson. You know what that means? That means he wants to look at Luffy in a better light. Isn't that, that means he has no harboring feelings towards Dragon. I wouldn't be surprised if a situation happened where Smoker knew Dragon in the Marines uh, as a really, really young Marine, or a situation where Aokiji pretty much tell smoker how dragon was being raised in the marines uh ad and tells maybe a little bit of the truth about the d uh, a little bit of secrets alkiji left the marines and he's now with blackbeard another d character definitely want to say isn't it funny how alkiji the people who he's under so far on monkey d garb he kind of was under his tutelage now he's under blackbeard tutelage it's kind of polar opposite when it comes to the will of d that's just me talking and discussing let's move on
Now it's time to mention Zoro. And you guys are already pretty shocked. I mentioned Aokiji, now mentioning Zoro. How many characters am I going to mention that pretty much nobody would think of when discussing Dragon? I'm going to mention a lot of these characters. That's why I said it's one of my best videos. We all know that Monkey D. Dragon went to Zoro's dojo after saving Sabo. And this is a pretty much a main thing that a lot of people discuss. Many people believe that Dragon took Koena. That's another theory for another day, honestly. I remember I was one of the first people who discussed that. But I definitely want to say, Zoro's teacher, a lot of people see Zoro's teacher as being a Wano member because there was two swords on his, clo his clothes and there was two swords and a Wano member clothes. People say he might be Denjiro, but I feel like the biggest thing for Zoro's teacher is he could be from Wano, honestly, it makes a lot of sense, but he also could be a former revolutionary. The reason why I say former revolutionary is because we don't really seem active right now as a revolutionary, they're very, very active, but he might be called upon like Ivanka who was chilling in Empire down, but Ivanka knew the time would come where Ivanka would have to be called upon. Same thing for Ky Koshiro. I think he knows the time is going to happen where he's going to be called upon. And look, look what was the last cover story we see of Koshiro Zoro's teacher. These kids that were Zoro's age are now adults helping Koshiro train the new students. It makes so much sense for him to leave the dojo to Zoro's friends and then pretty much go with the revolutionaries, honestly. And I honestly believe this, that he's going to be a badass swordsman, Dragon's badass swordsman. He could be low-key a situation where he's really, really close to Dragon. But the reason why he was chilling right there in the East Blue is because a traumatic experience happening, making him want to settle down with his daughter, Koena, and his family. Dendro theories, I think I'm not too sure about that, but I do think he has connection to Monkey D. Dragon. The, the, the teacher to Zoro and the father of Luffy, both of them in battle. You might even see a situation where they do a panel of Dragon and Koshiro and then Zoro and Luffy, kind of like that. I honestly, that would be so hyped. That would be so epic. Now, Monkey D. Dragon was also at Gold D. Rogers Execution. And a lot of people just shrug this off. He's at Rogers Execution. What's, what's the big deal? There's a lot of great pirates at Rogers Execution. The thing is, Monkey D. Dragon is not a pirate. And I believe the reason why Roger, or Dragon was there because I actually believe that of all people, the people that we saw that had a different reaction were Shanks and Dragon. Shanks was crying while everyone was just staring and Dragon was walking away. And that, in my opinion, that pretty much makes me believe that Dragon and Shanks both have interactions with Roger. Shanks, of course, being on his crew and Dragon, a secret interaction where Dragon is finding out the truth and he leaves the Marines. And we all know Garp and his father and Roger's relationship going back and forth, chasing each other, fighting each other. Uh, we all know Ace, his father, uh, and, and Whitebeard's relationship. We know that there's a lot of connections when it comes to people's fathers and the characters that are not supposed to be close with. Dragon is not supposed to be close with Roger because his father was pretty much rivals with Roger. But I believe he was close with Roger because Roger and Dragon, in my opinion, were the only people who knew the truth. The Roger Pirates and Monkey Dragon. There's a reason why the revolutionaries were created uh, at this moment. He didn't have the tattoo yet. I believe once he gets the tattoo, that's the official start of the revolutionary. I believe he's revolting, but the official faction, the revolutionaries, going strictly against the world government, it happens after Roger's executed. This is one of the motivating factors because Roger knows the truth, Dragon knows the truth, and he low key is trying to inherit inherit Roger's will in a sense and that's why I feel like that's one of the most uh, amazing scenes is Logtown when he looks at Luffy as a pirate that's fine too the reason why I'm saying that because he look I think he's thinking back on Goldie Roger definitely want to say the hype is real now I know I'm pretty much dropping a lot of lasagna on you guys right now for you guys to feast but there is more Nico Robin. If you guys do not know, Nico Robin's father is a mystery. We even know that Nico Robin, uh, Nico Robin's mother, that's the name she took. Nico Olivia, Nico Robin. She usually, usually take your father's name, Monkey D. Garb, Monkey D. Dragon, Monkey D. Luffy. But uh, she took her mother's name when it comes to the family name. That, in my opinion, really makes her father seem super mysterious. I believe that her father was connected to Dragon because pretty much Nico Olivia was trying to finish her husband's will, her husband's wish. This is something that she said in the manga. So definitely want to say I wouldn't be surprised if her husband was really really close to Monkey D. Drake. Maybe even close as, as like a brother in a sense. Kind of like the ASL Sabo, Luffy and stuff like that. And I wouldn't be surprised if the reason why Oda didn't give Robin her mother, her father's name is because Robin might be a D. Her father might be a D. And that might be one of the reasons motivating to, to fulfill his wish because he find out what the truth about the D. Uh, definitely want to say a lot of hype around Nico Robin's father. I definitely feel like that's going to be a connecting to monkey D. dragon don't you see always monkey D. dragon asking not asking about luffy asking about robin how's robin how's she doing how's everything i'm gonna talk about why he doesn't really talk about luffy of course saba was talking to him about luffy and very much spammed him with that but i believe there's also another reason why monkey D. dragon likes to be really really low-key when it comes to luffy and you guys are gonna pretty much be interested but definitely want to say imagine that robin and luffy two will of these on the same crew hype hype 
and more hype. And I can't talk about Monkey Dragon without talking about Akainu Sakazuki. We know he has this weird obsession of calling Luffy Dragon Son, Dragon Son, Dragon Son. Honestly, I feel like this is a big reason for that. Uh, we saw how angry Garp was when he wanted to kill Akainu. These are moments where I don't think that's the solely the reason, but there are hints to a, a bigger reason. And I feel like the bigger reason is that Akainu and Dragon were rivals, and I believe that Aokiji, and you see Aokiji Kizaru are more calm, they're more lazy, they're more relaxed, they're more chill, but I feel like Dragon and Akainu were both passionate. That means they both butted heads. Kind of like Eustace Kid and Luffy in a sense. Now I'm not saying they're like exactly like that. I'm saying that's an example. Kind of like the relationship. They're both rivals in the Marines growing up in the Marines getting stronger. And both had different mentalities. Absolute justice. And of course we know Dragon. He's a revolutionary now. So definitely want to say Akainu's obsession definitely is because he was rivals with Dragon. But I think there's even more. I believe there's a past interaction that led to Luffy's mother dying. And I feel like Akainu was involved in it. Just how Blackbeard was involved with Ace dying but he didn't really kill Ace. I feel like the same situation is going to happen where Dragon doesn't really really hate Akainu like like Sabo doesn't really hate Blackbeard. He doesn't like Blackbeard but the true hatred he has is for whoever killed his his wife and I believe the person who killed his wife it could be him it could be anybody. Gorsei I want to know who but I don't think it was Akainu. I think Akainu was involved but I don't think he actually did the deed but it was a portrayal in a sense because they used to, their rivals growing up in the Marines. Dragon's son, Dragon's son they both had different ideologies. Hype, hype, hype. Now Luffy's mom being a celestial dragon, I've always said that, go back to my videos a couple years ago, I've always said I believe Luffy's mom is a celestial dragon. I feel like the only way to break the mold of celestial dragons and Willa D and kind of this whole separation and sense, uh, I feel like is making Luffy's mother a celestial dragon, a good celestial dragon. We're already getting good celestial dragons with the whole Don Quijito, Doflamingo's father, and of course the recent Don Quijito reveal of the guy from Fishman Island pretty much, a celestial dragon. He actually is a good guy now because of what happened in Fishman Island. So celestial dragons can become good, and we finally learned about this but there's not most of them are pretty much pricks so I definitely want to say I feel like getting another good Celestial Dragon like Luffy's mother would really make the story kind of get a sense of uh, we all know Garb was a really famous Marine he's probably the most famous Marine of all time would it be a situation where Dragon of course his son of Garb so he gets a lot of respect he's rocking around Mario Joa he sees Luffy's mother a Celestial Dragon he falls in love with their Romeo Juliet Willa D cannot fall in love with Celestial Dragon honestly that's where I see a story happening and of course someone getting in the way it could be M could be Gorsa Say whoever it is, someone's gonna get in the way, and Dragon knows, and that's what maybe one of the few, one of the fueling things of his motivations. I don't think that's the sole reason why he's trying to go against the world government. I think it's one of the fueling reasons. I feel like he still was going against the world government, but this is just an add. You know when you add fuel to the fire. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, the final thing I want to talk about when, ta when talking about Dragon's shocking past. Yes, a lot of shocking things I'm talking about. This is what I actually truly believe. Some of these might be wrong. I might get my angles broken, but I like to give my opinions. The reason I believe that Roger abandoned Luffy. Uh, well, not really Roger Band Luffy. Well, Gold, I, I mean, Monkey D Dragon Band Luffy. I know what a mess up. I'm not the kind of person to edit it out. I'll let you guys hear me mess up. I'll take my L. I said Roger, I should have said Dragon, but let's move on. I believe the reason why Dragon abandoned Luffy is because we all see a trope. You don't look like your father. You don't look like your father. They always are mentioning that Luffy does not look like his father. And we know the whole situation of... Uh, it's funny because even when Dragon saved Luffy from Smoker, Smoker didn't even know that he was his father until Marine Ford. So they don't look alike. They don't look alike. But I believe the reason why Luffy, uh, Dragon's not raising Luffy right now and that he's, he, he loves Luffy, he wants to take care of him is because I think Luffy looks exactly like his mother. That's the reason why he doesn't look anything like his father. Usually they look like a, exactly like the other parent and that's his mother. And it could be a traumatic experience of when he lost his wife. So he really, I'm not saying that he doesn't want to see Luffy's face, but I think Luffy might have been involved with the wife being killed and having that traumatic experience being relived in his mind. Kind of like the saw My Hero Academia, the Todoroki stuff, I'm not going to spoil if you're not a fan of My Hero Academia, but I definitely feel like a situation where he loves Luffy, but he wants to love Luffy from a distance that's why he always stares at the east that's Ivanka mentioned this definitely want to say what Ivanka one of his closest allies didn't even know he had a son dragon is definitely a very very mysterious character and the hype is real honestly this is my thoughts on monkey d dragon uh, if we, when we get his past and I'm wrong, I won't, I won't really care because Oda's probably gonna do way better than what I'm saying right now. But this is where I think his past is gonna be. And if I'm not, if I'm not right, I feel like around the ballpark. Like and share if you enjoy. Like and share only if you enjoy. And subscribe for more One Piece content. I'm the Legend Mac, and I'm gone.